Oh, well, welcome back. All in all, it was a pretty good Father's Day. Temperatures much warmer than they had been in the last couple of days. We're going to continue that warming trend into the work week. And we have been contending with a little bit of that wildfire smoke on the horizon. Murky skies here in Muskegon on the time lapse today, but the water's very, very calm. Winds were nothing more than 5 to 10 miles per hour out of the south to southwest. Boaters were active in and out of the Muskegon Channel today, as well as South Haven Beach. That was packed on our tower cameras as well. We'll continue to see that trend into the work week as well. Notice plenty of sunshine to go around. We'll just have some high clouds for Monday. Wave heights remain low. Uh, that's favorable with those winds out of the east northeast at five to about 20 miles per hour throughout all three days. Uh, but uh, water temperatures along the lakeshore, especially south of Holland, started to warm back up a touch. The latest sensor in South Haven picking up 64 degrees on the water, but that easterly wind will probably cause some upwelling where that cooler water underneath kind of flips back over and we may see some uh, uh, cooler temperatures here later in the week. Here's a look at the surface smoke cast for us, though. We do see it really condense back up again Monday afternoon. So again, it's not out of the woods just yet for some of the hazy skies. Tuesday looks to improve a little bit as it pushes off into Wisconsin, but we're still tracking that here and looks like to be the trend uh, for the next few days. Tonight, we'll just be dealing with high clouds though across the area. Temperatures pretty seasonable in the mid to upper 50s for overnight lows. Monday we will continue to warm up warmer than we were today and we'll see gradually clearing skies through the afternoon. Tuesday and Wednesday look to be the driest days and the sunniest days and the hottest days of the week, meaning elevated fire risk is possible. We do see some rain chances in the forecast. Obviously, we've seen them kind of dissipate in the recent trends over the last several weeks. And so this rain isn't a guarantee, but it's nice to see some in the forecast. Here's a look at those overnight lows tonight, ranging from 53 in Big Rapids to around 60 degrees in the Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo areas. In future track, high clouds continue to increase tonight, mainly along and south of I-94, but we'll see them kind of filter in and out uh, across the area throughout the morning. And then as we go through the afternoon, notice by around dinner time, we'll continue to see those filter out on through the evening. They're not going to alleviate temperatures at all. It will be a couple of degrees warmer than we were today. 86 in Grand Rapids, 87 Kalamazoo. And notice with the east wind, lakeshore communities going to be feeling the heat as well. We're talking rain chances. Not a lot here as we have the elevated fire risk really through Thursday. Rain chances, they, they at least pick up Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So the opportunity is there with the latest trend of a low pressure starting to move into our area, but it is by no means a guarantee that it'll stay there. It jumped up, models could jump it back. Here's a look at fire risk when it comes to Monday and Tuesday. We're looking at relative humidity values, maybe as low as 25 to 30 percent on Monday. And then on Tuesday, maybe getting as low as about 40 to 35 percent. So a little bit higher on Tuesday, but we are going to have a stronger wind. So that could be the bigger issue there. We do start summer off on Wednesday at 1058 a.m., longest day of the year, and it's going to feel like summer too in the 90s, and then we track those rain chances Friday into the weekend. We definitely need it, but uh, if that low pressure doesn't develop or if it just dissipates simply because we've been so dry, then rain accumulations will remain minimal, and those temperatures in the mid-80s forecasted right now may go up a couple of degrees.